Hey everybody and welcome to another Think About It Thursday. I am Kanye Ford, but you can simply just call me Coach K. Certified clinical sexologist, otherwise known as a life, love, and intimacy coach, here to bring you another amazing topic. Now, before we dive into this week's topic, I want to make sure that you're one, subscribe to the page, two, that you have your notifications on so you don't miss a single week of discussions, and three, if there is anything that you want to hear about, drop it down in the comments or just let me know what you think of the video. I love to hear from you. Now, if you missed any of last week's discussion or the weeks prior, make sure that once this is done, you go back and watch them, save them, share them, comment on them. I love hearing from you guys. If you don't follow me on any of my social media already, make sure you do. You can find me on Instagram at Coach K, C-O-A-C-H-K-A-Y-1-0-1 or on Facebook at Love and Intimacy 101. Now, I won't hold you back any further. Let's get into this week's topic. So, this week's topic is my relationship is not your goal. Say what? Yep, I said it. My relationship is not your goal. So what do I mean by that? So let's break down some of the obvious things. So what is a goal? A goal is something that we put in place that we strive to accomplish. So when you think about it, you may see like this perfect couple on Instagram or on TV. They're holding hands. They're hugging each other. They're kissing each other. They have these perfect little kids everywhere. You're like, hashtag relationship goals. Skirt. Pump your brakes. What if behind all of the smiles and the hugs and the cute little kids, after they get off Instagram or off TV, they go their separate ways. He's with her, she's with she, or whatever. And they have all kinds of things going on in the background. Is that really your goal? Is your goal to be cute on the surface, but have all kinds of mess flinging in the back? Think about it. So what I mean is we have to be extremely careful when we are deeming other relationships as our goal. Why? Simply put, you do not want to put that type of pressure on not just yourself, but on your partner. If you want to accomplish specific goals, make those goals within the capacity of your relationship. Make your relationship your goal. Now, that's not to say that you can't look at other relationships that you have seen growing up. For instance, your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, cousins, you know, relationships that you kind of have been a part of. So you've seen the ups, the downs, the happy, the sad, the pretty, the ugly. So you've seen all of those things and you know that it takes work to get to that place of the beautiful smiles and the awesome hugs and those perfect little kids. It takes work to get there. So when I say that my relationship is not your goal, that is to say, don't strive to be like the next relationship strive to be inside of the best relationship for you and your partner in that moment. Inside of your relationship, I want to challenge you to create your own goals together and separately. Why? Because we are definitely together, but we are also individual people. That's something very important that you want to remember. So, if you want to do any type of relationship goals, set them. Set them in your own. What do I mean by that? Say that you've been together about a year, maybe three or four years, 
and you know that the one thing that you want to accomplish is that your man puts the toilet seat down when he goes to the bathroom. Now, you haven't said anything about it. No big deal. I can handle it. But it drives you bananas. How easy is it to set a goal of together? From now on, I need you to please put the toilet seat down. That's our goal. We're going to work on it together and we're going to accomplish it. Every once in a while, yeah, if he slips up, it's okay. Hey, you may slip up too because you have to remember to do the same thing, lead by example. But it's a goal. Seems simple, right? When we talk about goals, they don't have to be these big extravagant, we're going to buy a house, we're going to buy a car. Remember, set those miniature goals, celebrate those milestones, and work towards the bigger goals. I really do love this topic, and I hope that it gets the conversation going within your relationship. If you find that you started that conversation and you kind of need a little bit of help within that to get to that goal place that you've set, reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. As your life, love, and intimacy coach, my goal is to make sure that you are able to set and accomplish your goals. You can reach me by calling me or texting me at 804-967-4551. Shoot me an email, info at loveandintimacy101.com. Drop a comment below. I always respond. And for any of those couples out there who's looking to maybe get away, especially after all this madness, stay tuned for the Fools in Love Couples Retreat. Now, if you want to make that a goal in your relationship, go for it. Just get your deposit in by November 15th. I am Coach K, your life, love, and intimacy coach, bringing you another amazing topic. My relationship is not your goal. I hope that we got that conversation going, and I will see you back next week.